George Harrison, meanwhile, realizing that the Beatles were now truly over, had begun to develop in other areas. Musically, he was soon to bolt out of the gate with the magnificent triple album box set, All Things Must Pass, which reflected his impassioned views on the concept of innate spirituality, first awakened during his early experimentation with LSD. Now, however, he was determined to make a more mature approach to the subject, and thus began studying the benevolent philosophy of Hare Krishna founder A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Almost immediately, the kindly old gentleman from Calcutta and the flamboyant beetle became close, advancing his unique philosophy of sense purification, self-surrender, and the chanting of the 16-word Hare Krishna mantra, Prabhupada ultimately became Harrison's spiritual master. Although the Swami passed away in mid-1977, George has remained true to his teachings, incorporating the practice of devotional yoga or bhakti into his everyday life. Although the Guru's prohibitions against meat-eating, intoxication, and illicit sex have been difficult for George to follow, they have at least challenged him to try and work towards the goal of inner purity, even as the external circumstances of his life have become more and more demanding and stressful. Thank you.